the last couple of years, we've seen so many heat waves. Cooling is a big problem. India is going to need about 1 billion units in the next 30 odd years. People today are very used to using air conditioners. What they don't realize is that as they are cooling themselves, they actually have three and a half times the heat entering into the atmosphere from their outdoor units. Hi, my name is Tiger Astor and I'm the co-founder of Ambiator Private Limited. Uh, we work on cooling without warming the planet. We are already talking about a 2.2 to 2.7 degree C warmer world. It becomes imperative to, to provide uh, alternative cooling solutions. Ambiator, I think, is a great journey in terms of uh, sustainability and decarbonization efforts. So Ambiator's primary motive is to create cooling platforms for humans. What we are trying to do is bring affordable, sustainable, scalable solutions for the global south. We use steel as our primary raw material, which is infinitely recyclable. We've proven to the market that something like this can be grown in a city like Hyderabad and it can have a direct impact on lives and livelihood. Hi, a warm welcome to everyone. Thank you so much for uh, having me here. I uh, want to thank the Reality NXT team as well. Uh, Mr. Singh from the previous panel from Mahindra Live Spaces have, I, I want to thank them personally. Two reasons, as a freshly minted electronics engineer, my first job was with Tech Mahindra. And with Ambiator, Mahindra Live Spaces was one of the first ones to do a pilot with us. They did it in Bangalore and then they moved us to their uh, Jaipur facility as well. So we are Ambiator, we are all about cooling without warming the planet. Can you imagine this space having 80% less electricity contributed by just cooling? That's what we are building. We think that air conditions are not the solution given the heat waves that are getting more intense and longer. There is an urgent need to look at alternative cooling technologies. The world's getting warmer, and we need a solution that is catering not just for India, but the global south. So heat has a direct impact on lives and livelihood, and that is what we are addressing. And here's one way to think about it. How do we keep ourselves cool? Bade bade fans laga dete And let's bring that air inside so that it cools everyone. That's one option. But here's what we are building. We are a full stack manufacturer of five ton units. This is what our unit looks like. It's a modular scalable unit. One unit can cool 750 square feet. Two units can cool 1500 square feet. Like that you can scale it up to seven and a half lakh square feet or more. These are climate appropriate for hot and dry climates. So in Maharashtra, you can think about a space which is eastward from Pune. The whole Deccan Plateau, central, north, west of India is what we can cool using this. It uses only one unit of electricity per hour without the use of compressors or harmful refrigerants. And these are autonomous systems. We use an IoT module to modulate and collect weather data. Every minute, it checks what the outside temperature and humidity is. And based on that, it will modulate the way the system needs to perform to maintain the set point in that space. And these are 100% fresh air systems. What we are seeing on your left side are recirculated systems where the air is coming in. All of us are putting in CO2. It's going back, cooling, and bringing that same air back. In our case, with air coming from the left side, we would have designed an exhaust system on your right side so that there's constant movement of fresh filtered cool air coming in and also exhausting at the same time. Because these don't use any compressors or harmful refrigerants, the maintenance is very low. We use a 20 micron air filter. That is the only consumable that uh, we use. And we are able to predict the performance of the unit based on the input or the outside ambient conditions. And the current technologies which are compressor based have a COP of four to five or maybe a bit more. We have a COP that is greater than 17 and a half. So imagine accelerating your energy efficiency goals as a real estate developer. Imagine putting your net zero targets and running these systems on solar directly. So because we use water as our primary refrigerant, a lot of people ask us how is it different from air coolers? So we use four to five times less water than an air cooler. We are able to provide air conditioning like cooling using 80% less electricity. 
And these are 100% fresh air systems, which is what I cannot emphasize enough on. This is excellent indoor air quality for people staying in that space or being cooled. And for any space, after human capital, cooling is the biggest COGS item. Imagine reducing that by 80%. That's the impact on the bottom line we can have if we have an uh, alternative cooling technology. So we come with the right set of skill sets with a paid, two granted pay patents. And we are not just building for hot and dry climates. We are now solving for hot, dry, humid, cold as well. And our next platform is going to come in a 1.5 ton size, which will not just do hot and dry, but will also be used in uh, coastal cities and cold climatic conditions as well. And we come with the right set of skill sets. These are some real life photos of how it's installed. The unit is kept outside. We need a ducting partner to bring the air inside. And that's what we rely on locally. And that's what we want developers to give us. Um, you can run it through solar, 100%, doesn't matter. There are different ways of bringing air inside. So you can look at uh, jet nozzles that you see normally in airports. There are grills that you see in um, offices. There's exposed ducting that you see in cafes and restaurants. And we are application agnostic. We can do 750 square feet, which is a small studio or 2BHK, all the way to cooling, manufacturing plants, warehouses, all the way to airports. So currently, 70% of India is hot and dry, which is the climate-appropriate solution that we've developed. We are, we are now selling across five different states in India. And next, we are going to grow in Gujarat, MP, and Tamil Nadu. So, the one on your left is what we have launched. We are going to come up with a smaller version of that for cooling bedrooms in hot and dry climates. And this is what we want support for. We are raising funds for this. This will solve for hot, dry, humid, cold climatic conditions. And it's going to come in a one and a half TR package. It's uh, typically meant for smaller spaces, which is 200 square feet or thereabouts. Thank you so much for your time. That's me. We are Ambiator, and we are all about cooling without warming the planet. Thank you for your time. Yes, pre uh, presentation and quite high benchmarking for uh, the India Construction Tech Demo Day. Over to you, juries, to all your questions. I can go first um, with the first uh, round of questions. So generally, dew point based cooling systems, they have issues, or rather they're known to have issues around corrosion, around materiality, input water supply. Uh, is there something that you're doing as a part of your solution stack to address those persistent problems? So I'll give you the basis of why that is happening. A lot of value engineering is reducing the copper use because the price of crop, copper is quite high. Can you hear me? So because of that, the corrosion impacts that a, a lot. And that's why you see a lot of gas leakages. Globally, the amount of gas leakage per unit of AC is about 2%. In India, because of value engineering for reducing the cost, and um, it's, it's much higher. That's why we are seeing a lot of maintenance issues coming up with gas leaking, etc. We are solving that because at the basis, we are going to rely on Ambiator's technology, which does not go below dew point. And we are going to activate that hybrid technology only when it's humid or cold outside. So we provide 30 to 100% fresh air. At the same time, we don't go below dew point when it's not required. So it doesn't impact our system as much. Hope that answers your question. Thank you. Uh, yeah, hi, Jitain. This is Parag here. I, I wanted to understand what's your core customer? Is it residential or, or commercial to start with? So with commercial, I think a good uh, retrofit is the treated fresh air. We are able to do dry cooling very well. So instead of you closing the ducts for treated fresh air because it increases the electricity, you can retrofit a uh, ambiator without design consideration. We can do dry cooling. So, is, oh, sorry to interrupt, but what I mean to say is, are you focusing on SME, large corporate, means large offices? smaller offices or are you saying multi-story apartment or is it bungalows? So I'll be very frank, in gated communities, the clubhouses are low-hanging fruit. Yeah. 
because that's the easiest to reduce the electricity bill because when the developer hands it over to the RWA, the first thing they switch off is the AC. For commercial real estate, there is TFA as well as if we get in the design phase, our duct sizes are slightly larger. Correct. So if we, if we get in at the design stage, we can design 450 mm by 450 mm duct sizes to bring that air inside and also design the, the exhaust. So that's the consideration. We need a well-ventilated space to install the ambiator. And that's one of the design con considerations. So we'd like to get in at the design phase itself. But for existing buildings, we can do the retrofit with TFA, etc. quite easily. Yeah, one feedback I have for you is if you are uh, targeting residential, uh, you will definitely need a better design of your ODU. Uh, because anybody who has very expensive home would want a better looking ODU. Uh, that's why I asked you whether it's residential or uh, uh, commercial because the photograph that you were showing, if you want to go back on the terrace top or something which looked like a bungalow, if, if in a tighter spaces, if you are, somebody were to put it outside where people can see it, right, in a very expensive, like in Mumbai, people actually put fins also, try to hide. And those are not so, uh, you know, those are still a better design. So that's one of the feedback I would want to give it to you. Thank you. It looks like a million dollars for us, but we take your feedback. If you are uh, targeting the residential sector, what, what do you think you will be able to replace these window ACs and the split ACs uh, and you can replace them? That's what yeah. you're trying to say. So our current is a direct replacement for packaged VRB, VRF. Our next unit is similar to what your old window ACs look like. Hmm. Yeah, it's I about 1.2 yeah. meters wide and 600 mm in height. How many such installations have you done? With the uh, other space, we've done 30 different sites across five states in India, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Maharashtra and, and Rajasthan. And you spoke about uh, less consumption of energy, but what yeah. is the uh, cost of the capital equipment? Sorry? Versus the AC, how, how are you placed like cost wise? So our current uh, five ton unit is 60,000 rupees a ton. So we sell them at three lakhs. The ROI or the payback that you have on the differential in CapEx is recovered in six to seven months because of the electricity costs. And then you enjoy 80% less electricity bill throughout the life of the product. Our next unit, we are hoping to price it around 38K for done. Thanks. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you, Juri. I think that's the feedback to be taken. Uh, one question we can take from the audience. If audience has any question, one question. Yes. Gentlemen. Uh, hi. Um, you know, happy to see the first presentation, which, you know, focuses on the climate part. Um, great work. Just one question here um, that if you see uh, in an Indian environment, we definitely have two months, which are monsoon months, which is like July and August. How do you, you know, your first part of the unit, which is like typically like a, you know, fancy cooler, which, you know, when, uh, when, uh, please, you know, uh, if, uh, leave, leave this part of it. Okay. So I'm saying it's a fancy cooler, but how does it resolve the problem of those two months if a home, uh, a residential customer installs that unit? So how, how do you respond to that question of the customer? So your question is on humidity. So when it rains, there's 100% humidity outside. And in hot and dry climates, say from the city of Hyderabad, where I come from, or Bang Bangalore, when it rains, the temperature of the ambient also goes down significantly. Pre-rain, there is a couple of minutes and hours where it's very humid and hot at the same time. But our system is able to, through our temperature sensors, identify that the humidity outside is going high and we will stop the humidity from coming inside. We'll just do the dry cooling bit, filter the air, cool it, bring it in. And that's where our unit goes into free cooling mode. So it acts like a fan that just reduces the temperature slightly if required, filters the air, brings it in and also exhausts it at the same, same time. Thank you, Jitin. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. A round of applause for Jitin, everybody.